Hi guys, Dorothy here. Today I'm going to talk about Friday, March 23rd, and how we can use the moon in Gemini with Mercury retrograde. Stay with me, I'll be right back. All right, welcome back guys. So moon in Gemini, like I said for yesterday, we have a lot of communications. We really need to talk things out. Today's aspects, Mercury squares Neptune, that can be a little foggy. Mercury sextiles retrograde Mercury and it sextiles Venus because you know Mercury and Venus are together still. And so this is where we're feeling maybe there's a little communication going through. A little bit is moving through, but Mercury, uh, the moon is making a really hard aspect to Jupiter and Pluto today. And then it's square, yes, to Jupiter and Pluto. And then it makes an aspect to Uranus in the middle of the night. This is about making adjustments. This quincunx aspect is all about, all right, I'm gonna get a little information out and let it sit. What does it look like now? It's like adding um, seasoning to something that you're cooking. You add a little bit, you stir it up, you taste it. Is this right? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll add a little bit more. That's what this quincunx aspect can feel like with moon and Gemini to Pluto to Jupiter. So take your time today, information in little bits, see how it sits, and then throughout the evening, you'll be able to understand and process internally. Again, retrograde Mercury is all about going within and taking our time, even though it's in Aries and we feel like going like, I don't know, like, like a bat out of hell. <laughs> Can't think of one off the top of my head. I guess that's as good as any. So that's good for now. I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you guys. Take your time. Take your time. Let things just wee bits at a time and we'll get through this perfectly fine. All right. Blessings and namaste.